The idea that fish might see the air the way humans see the ocean is a fascinating thought, but the reality is more complex. Vision depends not only on eyes, but also on how light behaves in different environments. Water and air have very different optical properties, and this shapes how fish perceive the world above the surface. Fish eyes are adapted to seeing underwater, where light bends differently than it does in air. Because water is denser than air, light refracts less when it enters a fish's eye. As a result, many fish have rounder lenses that are optimized for underwater vision. When a fish looks up toward the surface, the boundary between water and air acts like a mirror beyond a certain angle. This creates a circular window known as Snell's window, through which fish can see the outside world. Everything beyond that window appears distorted or reflected. Within this window, fish can see objects above the water, including birds, trees, or people, but not in the same way humans see underwater scenes. The air does not appear as a vast surrounding space like the ocean does to us. Instead, it looks compressed, curved, and sometimes shimmering, Movement above the surface is especially noticeable, which is why fish often react quickly to shadows or motion overhead. Unlike humans, fish do not experience the air as a place they could move into freely. Their brains are wired to interpret the surface as a boundary, not an extension of their environment. To them, the air is more like a distorted ceiling than an open world. While some fish can jump or briefly leave the water, their perception remains shaped by an aquatic life. So fish do not see the air as we see the ocean. While both environments are visible across a boundary, the physical properties of light and the biology of vision make the experience very different. This difference highlights how perception is shaped not by reality itself, but by the environment and senses of the observer.